Hey there, welcome to my channel. For my first video, I thought I'd walk you through a little Jigger build to help me assemble PCBs. I got into designing and assembling my own PCBs some time ago. I invested in a reflow oven relatively early on since I knew I wanted to use more challenging components like very small SMD caps and resistors, fine pitched ICs and BGA packages. One step that I always found challenging is applying the solder paste using the manufactured stencil. In the past, I would use some unpopulated PCBs to surround the PCB I wanted to apply the solder paste to and stick them down to the bench with masking tape. A major downside of this approach is that the stencil will only be held in place by a single tape, as this is the only way to lift up the stencil after applying the paste without moving the stencil on the PCB. I then found some YouTubers using tools that work together with a vacuum cleaner to basically suck the stencil in place with negative pressure created by the vacuum. This fixes the stencil in position really well and it allows for perpendicular lifting of the stencil after applying the paste just by turning off the vacuum. And here's my design that I came up with. It's relatively simple, just five 3D printed components that everyone with a simple 3D printer should be able to print. It consists of the container or the box um, here in black that holds everything together. It will hold the spring that do the lifting action. On top of that is it's the lid. The lid is relatively sturdy so that it does not bend under the negative pressure. The lid has throw holes so that the springs can poke through and lift the stencil lifter. The stencil sits on the stencil lifter and together with the springs that will do the lifting action. Next up is the PCB holder that holds the PCB in place and it sits on the lid and is loosely held in place by these four screws. The stencil lifter is guided by these four screws that fit into the uh, container. And last is the nozzle adapter that you would adjust to your vacuum and it just loosely fits into the, the container and we don't need much more as the negative pressure will hold everything uh, very tightly together. Lastly, let's take a quick look at the lifting action. Here's how it looks in rest when there is no negative pressure applied by the vacuum. Once the vacuum is turned on, the stencil with the stencil lifter will go down and be flat with the PCB. And once we turn off the vacuum, the stencil lifter will go up and with it the stencil.
the finished assembly is pretty simple. We have the container um, that holds everything together with the springs. We have the lid that goes on it. Uh, as I said, it's relatively sturdy, so it's not really moving anywhere. Um, it has just four guiding screws kind of to um, prevent the PCB hole from wiggling around. And then we have the stencil lifter that uh, is just a little higher than the PCB holder and under negative pressure it would just level out and everything will be very flat. There you have it, a nicely applied solder paste without much fuss. Some closing thoughts. I find the vacuum cleaner adapter not really nice. Um, it will hold in place once the negative pressure is applied, once the vacuum is on, but until then it's super loose and can fall off easily. So next time I would maybe design a nicer holder. I would also not have holes on the very outside of the lid and the stencil lifter because that's where a lot of air can escape and we get less negative pressure. You would have seen in earlier shots that I used some painter's tape to seal off the outer holes. The CAT files are up on GitHub. I leave a link in the description. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. It really helps to grow the channel and allows me to create more content. Take care and see you next time.